profit. We are going to tell you what we paid it for it, what we're going to sell it for, and what, if anything, we will do to make it over. If you want to shop along, everything is listed at jamierayvintage.com under thrift flips and thrift finds. And Caitlin is also on in the live chat. If you're catching us live, um, dropping links. So, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is, we're calling it a high end thrift haul from Goodwill in the bins, mostly because we do have quite a bit of silver. We've got some crystal in here. We've got some unique items that once we make them over will be really awesome. And it's not more than the last few weeks, but everything is larger size. So it's like not <laughs> it's fitting on the island. taking up a lot of room. Taking a lot of space. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, get rid of the big stuff first. So we've got room to move. All right, we got this wood lantern here, door opens. It, it can does, hang. Zeb is going to have to glue a couple of slats. Yeah, a couple of slats are broken out on this side. Not scared about that at all. I'll fix those right up before we send it to you. It was $3 at the thrift store, and this is one of the things we didn't get priced right off the bat. <laughs> all right, I'm going to search for the we had We had like probably 10 or 15 things left, and we're like, it's 8.30. This is go live. Yeah, go to, <laughs> go to the next item, and I'll give you the lantern price in a minute. This one here. Jamie told me the price. And I doesn't look like I stuck it on there. Sixty nine ninety five. This is oh, it fell off. That's why it's not on there. Um, this birdcage is awesome. Not painting it, leaving it just the way it is with the art. We're just gonna take off the other feet because one of it, it's missing. It feet. does have a missing foot here, but it still has this um, that gives it elevation, so you can like do the tray clean out and stuff if you want to actually use it for a birdhouse. I think you could. Um, but $69.95 on and this. And your lantern has sold. Oh, wow. That was fast. Okay. Okay, now I Next can see. Next up, $14.95 for these tumblers. They were a dollar. Actually, they were priced a dollar and two dollars, um, but they gave them to me for a dollar each, and we're selling them as a set. Pretty are those glass. cut glass? No. Nope. Just pressed. That, that, those ones are cut glass. There. These ones are cut glass. These ones are the fancy ones. Those they do the look a lot like crystal, but they're cut glass. These were also a dollar each. They're just mugs. You probably that's a lot of tea. Probably more for coffee on these. They're nineteen ninety five. cocoa for the set, right? Yes. Or are they individual? Yep. Nineteen ninety five for the set. Um, Eliza, don't bump any of those wires. Oh, I hung it up in the hall. I'm gonna bring some things close. Because I feel like a lot of the detail is lost on the live stream unless I come focus up over here. He's gonna, and if he sounds a little nasally, he does not have a cold. Oh. He has what we call the, he's been out to the 40. Hay fever. He's got it's the what, hay fever from the 40. Is what I would call he's it. He's not super great at taking allergy meds because he says they don't work. So it's they just don't. gonna be this way. I've never had them successfully work for me. Okay, next up. We paid two ninety nine for this. I don't know why Zeb bought this. It wasn't two ninety nine. It was from the bins. Oh, I was like, that seems like a lot if we're only going to sell for six. I did it's not. It's from the bins, so it was probably like fifty cents. So, in case you don't know, if you're new here, things from the Goodwill bins we pay by the pound and total for everything we got at the bins this week, including the things you won't see because my kids already claimed them. A couple things. Uh, <laughs> which reminds me, I need to remove one of those. Hopefully, they didn't sell. Otherwise, Odelia is going to give it back. Six ninety five for this. What did Odelia want? The quilted jacket. Oh, yes. She like saw it when I was washing it and she claimed it. It has been a minute since we found a bunt pan. This one is also from the bins. It's got somewhere it's been in someone's drawer or baking a lot with it where they put it in and out. We think these look actually really cool displayed on the wall facing out. You just put a nail in and hook them in the middle here. Um, this one, there's a price is going to be 1995. It's a great cream inside. And the enamel on the inside is actually in good condition. These are really cute to decorate with a bunch of um, like Christmas decor in there and a bunch of like um, bottle brush trees. Yep. Or you can hang them on the wall or you could use it for a bunt pan. I mean, whatever. Um, Caitlin says that Jacob says the allergy meds don't work for him either. Here's the thing with allergy meds. You have to consistently take them. And I think now, so when I was take, working, now that you take a thyroid med and you are consistent with it, I think you can When I was working at Discount Tire, I had a similar problem every year. And I would take the allergy meds like a month in advance before I knew it was coming. Like back in February, I'd start nothing. $28.95 <laughs> for this little bucket that we picked up. That was $2 originally. I'm going to um, not paint it. I'm going to take a magic eraser, get all the scuffs off, and put a big IOD transfer on it. And I think it's going to be super cute. I think originally it came from Bath and Body Works. It probably came with a bunch of smelly lotions and potions. 
All right, I have this. We're gonna call this a little apothecary medicine jar. It's milk glass. Someone has painted this lid gold. Don't hate it. I'm gonna leave it gold. It's gonna be six ninety five. It was a dollar at the Deseret Industries. All right. Just be, and before I forget, I'm just gonna say this because I don't think my memory is gonna work tonight. We did a live in the shop Friday. We talked about all the things that we added to the new to the sale collection that we have on our website. And I forgot to tell you that we are retiring stencils. Um, and I don't want to misspeak, but our, our stencils are on sale. There's a stencil collection. I can't remember how many stencils we retired. Maybe Caitlin can tell me. It was It's too many to remember. And what the exact percentage is off. I can't remember that either because I was going to have her make me a graphic and I don't know that she did yet. So, but anyways, Caitlin will drop the link when she gets a second for the sale collection. These are retiring stencils that will be retired by the 30th of April. So not only are they on sale, but if you are wanting to get them, they will no longer be available after April 30th. So I'm just a little commercial break because otherwise I'll forget if I wait till the end. I'm going to try not to sniff too much at you guys tonight, but if I don't, it literally <laughs> is going to like run down my face and that'll be gross. You know what? You don't want it running down your face. <laughs> All right. These bunnies are different. So make sure you're looking at which one you're getting. They do have a couple little imperfections, but it, they're great chocolate bunnies that are actually ceramic. They are $26.95 each. Caitlin says there's 29 retiring stencils. 29, that's 29. a lot. And what's the percentage off? Because we've had so many different numbers thrown at me this week, I can't remember. So I'll wait till Caitlin comments that. All right, next up, this bunny is, people said not to paint it, but it's all chipped up. So we're chipped here, we've got chips here. So this bunny is gonna get painted, probably copper, because that's my favorite thing to do with them. And it'll be $26.95. And it was a dollar fifty, probably because it's broken. We love to buy things that are broken at the thrift store that people would normally just pass on because they don't want to upcycle yeah, it's got things. A couple toes that need some um, love. Yeah, because otherwise they just people keep passing them and then nobody wants to repaint them and you, they just get pitched. So yeah. they're always fun to paint. That looks stuff. like a great pile right there by you for stuff that needs fixed or painted. Okay, I'll just throw it right here. I'm trying to keep it separate so we can put it away easy tonight. Guys. We found this in the garage clean out. It's salvaged from England. It does have a little break here in the front and the finial topper does slide out. It was probably on a clock. Yeah, something. I don't remember where we got it because it, I think it was from the 2022 haul. Um, selling it as is $14.95 straight over the pond for you like a year ago. <laughs> or two years Maybe ago. Maybe two years. All right, I'm just trying to see about see if i put in here because is zeb sick no he just has allergies okay. all right 25 percent off the retired stencils i found it we got okay. it 25 percent. took me a minute but i'm here okay next up we've got this coiled pot with a lid it's kind of an olivey green color it almost looks like a crock but it's not it was a dollar 50 and we're selling it for 16.95 remember that i passed on these and then jamie also passed on them but everybody said to buy them and i mentioned i'm like oh it looks like they might be for christmas trees or something and you all agreed and so they were still at the thrift store we're like we're getting them we're yeah, if do they it. don't sell them next year i will put christmas trees in them at the shop and then charge more i don't know oh <laughs> i don't know you're not supposed to pick up anything without a price tag i did it because you don't have your phone i mean you do have a phone but you don't it's you're... not charged you're not all right this little star box really ornate on the top was two dollars we're selling it for 16.95 and it's got some really great detail around the bottom of the box as well i found them okay and i spelled individually wrong anyways they're 22.95 each 22.95 i thought they were in somewhere each. in the 20 20 dollar range but they're um they're not plastic they're ceramic yeah they're like heavy Okay, Silver Leaf Starbucks. That one's really cute. Let me just make sure if there's any questions. Allergies are a pain. They are a pain because he's kind of in a haze. And I, Zeb is usually, so I'm usually the one that might, I'm not always sharp unless it's something super important to me. Then I can like recall everything. But he's the really sharp one. So I always rely on him to be sharp. So then when he's not sharp, I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what to do with you when you're in this allergy haze. All right, I paid a dollar for this bowl. It says Lido WS George, made in the USA. It's got like cherry blossoms on it and it's $12.95. And the funny thing is, is last week I was saying, oh, I probably should stop buying as many plates and things, but we've been selling 
quite a bit of plates, bowls, platters in the shop this last week. So that makes me excited. I'm going to have to do a reel on her doing getting plates. It's because I really like to buy them. So I'm always excited when the shop sells them. All right. This is Wilton. Oh, are you talking about because of your clocks? Armitel. Armitel. It's, so it's pewter. Pewter. Just solid servers. They are $19.95 for the set. And were those, did I get those at the bins? I think I did. Uh, they're no, they're from, they're from the DI. They're from DI. Okay. Let me show you. I'm going to bring them close. They have really cool handles. They are. And the, I like it because there's a detail on both sides. They're not like flat on one side. The big re oval red clock is super. Yeah, that's going on the wall. We can show you. Actually, I think that's actually way smaller than the other one. So that might look. I can hang that off the wall, though. It's like the same height as the other ones. It's just not as wide. So this one is going to be $169.95, and it does have glass in it. We sold one not too long ago, this turquoise that does not have glass in it. Are we leaving it red? Um, Yeah, and it was 5 bucks. All right. If it doesn't sell red, then we'll paint it. But sometimes we paint stuff, and people like the original It's finish. got, like, some crackle in the paint. It's uh, It's a really fun finish. Who is the maker of the Blossom Bowl? Nancy, hold on just a second. I just read it, I think. Um, it is Lido, L-I-D-O, W-S, George, Cameritone, made in USA. I think it says 137A. And I'm looking, I'm not seeing any. There might be some flea bites, but there's like no major chips in it. Oh, yeah, right I didn't, <laughs> he's got to blow his nose. Um, I just bought it because I thought it was beautiful. Okay, while Zeb's gone, I'm going to keep going. We've got, well, I was super excited to find this. I was hoping I would have more, but there was only one of these little tumblers. It's Waterford. Um, it, I would sell it for a lot more if it had a match, but it doesn't. So I'm selling this one for $18.95. It's Waterford Crystal. It does have the sticker. And then on the bottom, it also has the Waterford logo. Now that I've been buying and selling more Waterford, I know how to check for that. Because people say, oh, it said Waterford. It's very, um, like, not easy to see sometimes. So oh, now I, feel I know like what I'm it's looking spelled for. so that you can see it from the bottom of the glass too. This is Shannon Crystal, and it is a per it was new. It had like the original sticker from Dillard's on the bottom. It's a perfume bottle, and I your believe, mom was very excited about that. Yeah, it's got a little space, and then you can put your high end perfume in it. She got to see all these before she flew off to Hawaii. She's I there need to look it up because enjoying I the sun sunshine and the beaches without us. Um, twenty four ninety five. So new in the store would be fifty. And we're selling ours for $24.95. And it was never used. All right. I think we paid like $2 for it. It's Love like my... a vintage hermetic jar here. Probably used for various juices, vinegar, something like that. I do not sell Very my stuck. Romper. Um, Somebody was asking. I missed right. the name on that. I this got is it actually unstuck. from Free People. It's, it's one of my favorite things to wear. It's super comfy. So this was $1.50. We're selling it for $8.95. All right. Okay, so these were three dollars seven, seven total. One of them was broken, so I'm not including it in the set. This is uh, I can't even remember what the name of these are. There's a word like you can't read it, but I put it in I the Senko. Senko. Yeah, there you go. It's fifty nine ninety five. This is a Senko set of three. I couldn't remember the word. I'm like, I think it starts with an S. Um, pro tip though, like it came with one and the top was broken. If you sell it with a broken, even if you price it accordingly and you're like, oh, I'm just going to throw this one in, people will always say, can I have it for less? Or they won't read the description or whatever. So it's just better to sell just the three. The other one that's broken, I will probably fix it, paint it, do something because the top was like cracked. It's just the top. Together. We could still use it as a crop. Yeah, we could take, actually, I could take the lid off and put in like an IOD transfer on and sell it that way, which would probably be better. Yep. I've just learned my lesson because every time we tell people, I'm just going to throw this one and then somebody comes in the shop and they see the part of it's broken and they think that you priced it with it. This is a big haul. It is a big haul. Yeah, these are comfy. They're already... kind of spendy, but they're like my favorite thing to wear. Okay, these are Wilton pewter mugs. I'm selling them as a set even though they're not exactly the same. They like have the Wilton mark inside of them. They were $2.99 each. I'm selling it for $26.95 for the pair. This one's even stamped USA on the side. I love it. You love it. I love everything. it when they're stamped. We, we found a bunch like that in England that were stamped. Hey, made if in they England. make stuff in England, they're stamping it, man. Yeah, they don't mess around. If it was made in England, they're very proud of it, and they stamp that up. Okay, so we have a couple of uh, Mikasa items. 
This is a salt and pepper shaker. They do have their plugs. A lot of times we find them at the thrift store. They don't have their original plugs. Also, we have the gravy boat. It's in the same listing. $12.95 each. Twelve ninety five each. So twelve ninety five for this or twelve ninety five for the set. I'm not selling salt and then pepper. Yeah, no, they're. they're I like the style of this. Not all Mikasa is my favorite. I'm not going to lie. But this style is definitely my favorite. Like, I love this. And I also love this little Mikasa creamer here. Oh, yes. Let's this show is 75 that. cents. It's country classic cottage flare. And it's $16.95. It almost looks like a pitcher, but it's a creamer. All right. Perfect. So this has seashells and sand in it. And some of these look like, oh, I can't remember what Anemones? they're called. Yeah. No, they're not that. Oh, Anemones have all the, the frills. These are like sea cucumbers or something. Anyway, the jar, the cool green hermetic jar with the sand and the seashells is $14.95. Oops, somebody bought the Shannon Crystal. Oh, I was going to add a second picture to that. I'm glad you got it. I added the picture where I just showed the bottom, but I was supposed to circle back and put the front shot on there. So sorry, that listing was kind of funky. Let's talk about the lamps for a minute. I picked up a bunch of tabletop lamps. So the brass colored lamp, that one sold. This right? one's already sold. Yeah. Okay. Sea urchins. That's what that is. Sea right? urchin. Okay. I'll go with it because I don't live by the sea. So I don't, I'm not super good with my sea creatures. All right. $69.95, I believe. I don't know where the price is on this. I think I got these all for like eight or nine bucks. Ten dollars for this one. This one was eight dollars. But the one that you paid the most for has a marble base. Yeah, this one with the marble base, it's got a tiny little chip in the corner, but it's not even noticeable. And honestly. If you watched Thursday's video, you saw that you can easily sand and polish marble if it gets damaged. Yeah, we actually already sold that piece that you fixed. Yeah, it's marble's a really soft stone and you can shape it like crazy. Um, but this one is really cool. It's adjustable. You can just undo the back here, adjust it down if you need to, if you're like using it at a desk. So this one was $89.95 with the marble base. This one is $69.95 and has already sold. I don't and think then... this is right, to be honest, so we're not going to say that. <laughs> okay. I don't think that's what you priced that. I don't know. All right. I don't know that one. Oh, it says we're frozen. Um, uh -oh. Double check. I'm not seeing anybody else comment that, so double check. It looks connection. like we're moving on our end still, so I think we're okay. Mercury. This one is adjustable. This one doesn't adjust this way, but it does adjust right here. So you is. could you could yeah. spin it. This one's sixty nine ninety five. Sixty nine ninety five. Oh, I don't know. That oh, is it was right. upside down, but you put the dot over here, so it looked like that's a six. Yeah, but you put the dot over here, and Sorry. you had it like this. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, We're doing good. Found some really awesome lamps. I love these. If you're into drawing or drafting, I think they'd be really cool to have on a desk, or they just look great. The mercury glass one looks as good as these brass ones. Father's Day is coming. <laughs> so if you're looking for a duck for the man in your life that also wants to store his stacks, this is actually a vintage mold. Um, the brand is Holland. So Holland vintage molds are kind of popular. I was going to repaint it, but then I saw a bunch of people selling these like for campy or for um, dens, you know, like in this paint style. So I'm like, oh, okay, I don't want to paint it. It's not like perfect, but it's in decent condition. And we're selling for $22.95 and it was $2.99. I have actually seen this a few times at Goodwill and I hadn't bought it. And then I picked it up and then I looked up and saw that it was a Holland mold. And then I, I wanted it. I've actually sold the Santa and the Mrs. Claus from the Holland mold. Maybe that's Atlantic. I don't know. But they're both really popular. So here's the duck. That's where you hide your snacks. You can put your husband or dad's favorite treat in the duck. I would love it. Okay, I've got two little snowman salt and pepper shakers. They also have their original plugs. They were 75 cents each. We're selling the set for $9.95. Oh, they said we were frozen on Facebook, but fine on YouTube. Well, I don't know. I'll double check on Facebook real quick. Maybe it's a Facebook thing because the stream's running here. Oh, nope, we're good. We're good. All it's right. alive and well. Large apothecary jar. I don't know. I I don't know if this is etched or it says R and B on it. We are going to put 
because I, I don't know who has the initials R and B. So we're going to make it a broader audience of buyers and put some IOD on the front of this apothecary jar. It's a really good it one. Five bucks. The top is hand blown for sure. We're going to sell for forty nine ninety five. And again, this is one of those items that uh, probably people would pass up in the thrift store and then it would wind up going in the garbage because unless RNB wants to buy it, they don't want it. Yeah. So if you see stuff that's etched, you just kind of have to think like, can I cover that up? Can I make it look good um, and still sellable? So a lot of times you can get good deals on stuff that are customized or like the rabbit that had like chips in it or whatever. All right, Zeb picked up this box. It's gonna be $38.95, it's divided. It also needs a knob. It needs a knob um, and it's gonna be painted and it'll be $38.95. I'm not painting the inside, just the outside. I might even just clean up this black. Originally from Pottery Barn for $69. It's a steal. So there you go. It needs a few repairs and we're gonna do them and then it'll be awesome again. I might leave the chalkboard on there if I can keep it a lot of times there's ghosting from whatever chalk they used on there before yeah all right well, let's do a couple silver pieces after okay. that this is the fuji stone moss antigua japanese creamer very mid-century mod um and i think it was like 50 or 75 cents the tags gone. i love the olivey green with the black and it's going to be 12.95 yeah if zeb was like decorating his own house i think he'd have a lot of dark woods a lot of olive greens luckily i don't decorate my own house so <laughs> well we had this agreement when we got married i got to decorate the inside of the house and then he could do whatever he wanted with the garage and the yard ironically i'm usually too busy to do much with either <laughs> i mean you have a barn now yeah, and that has lots of tools in it. And oh, there's that piece. I was looking for this. To be honest, uh, most of the stuff in the barn belongs to you. Yeah, it does. People were worried that I would take over the barn. I'm like, listen, Linda, that ain't all my junk, just so you know. Okay, this was I can priced. I think it was like $15.95 or something. $15.95. $15.95 for this tarnished silver platter or it's like dish. Scalloped. It's got a scallop on it. We love the tarnish, so we send them to you like this. Nine times out of 10, you can polish them up. This one is a little bit tarnished, but this is the difference between been polished on a regular basis for the most part, probably never polished. Would you dark, would you say dark wax leads more brown? Yes, dark wax is brown, black wax is black. So this is Rogers uh, and Bro. There's a lot of different Rogers out there. There's FB Rogers, there's w WM Rogers, there's Rogers and Bro, there's Rogers Corp. Ike, apparently the Rogers were all doing silver together. Um, this is the server with the lid and it has the handles on the server, $29.95 well, on maybe this. Maybe they were the brothers and then they separated. I got this as a whole set for like $32 if you include the picture that I bought because they had the picture price separately. So I don't know how much each price was individually, just all 32 bucks for all this silver. This is a warmer. Very ornate, love the legs on it, and it still has its little pot for the fuel. And a wick, an adjustable wick, is still in here. It's there, you can adjust the height so you can really get it burning or not. You can this have is, a big old fancy dinner party. This is $42.95. Having all that together is actually pretty unique. Sometimes they have a out. lid, but I saw them with and without. It just depends on the style. The legs on this are really detailed. Yeah, the like legs on this are those crazy. Are some fancy legs. They're, it's very heavy duty, very heavy. Um, $42.95 on that one. And then I'll show another couple pieces. I could probably show like 10 pieces, but um this is a water pitcher loved the handle on it this is uh fb rogers silver co um 38.95 on this one and then i'll show you these two really quick because they're very cool this one is 49.95 um also fb rogers silver co and it's got it's lid a lot of times we find these without their lid the handle's broken very ornate, still has all its pieces, usable condition if you ask me. And then that also, this tray matches That's heavy, heavy. this. This is a very heavy gauge tray. Also the FB Rogers Silver Co. designation on there. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. It's got really Elaine ornate. Elaine says she got her pewter angels. I'm actually the one who packed those. So I'm glad you got them and that you love them. I was super excited to buy them. So it's got a great scalloped edge. It's got this indentation detail, and then it's got the etched design in the middle. It might be pressed on that. Um, but this one is $32.95. And we won't show any silver for a minute. 
Dapper, we might get more biker shorts, but not the same ones. So everything that we put on sale, we will not be restocking. We'll get new ones. Um, Les wanted to know how big this pediment was. I think this is what she was asking about. Um, so, I would say 30 inches. Yeah, like you can see it in relation to my body. We're going to paint it up. Yeah, it's it's okay, but I think it's got like this cheetah print in the top. See where it's polka dot? That's where Hobby Lobby messed I really up. like the white. They used it as like a texture, almost like they just plastered over it. It would have been fine it. if they would have just kept it the same. I don't know why the cheetah. I don't know either. Just I, no, I say can't. no to the cheetah print on your on your distressing. It was $4. We're going to paint it, and it's going to be $39.95. And it does have um, some 3M hooks, but it has these little like latchy things on the bottom. We'll probably take the 3M off. Um, because we might get paint on the back. We'll need to sand it, but it's got these little things where you can hang it on the wall. If this is beautiful over the top of an entryway or like a door. I like putting them up above like small dresser mirrors or, or like if it's walls. like a straight flat mirror, it works really well. Okay. Set of candlesticks. We are selling them as a set. We find that they do better as a set. If we paint them all up to match, even though they're different, um, they'll look like they're a set once we're done. This one is super ornate. This one is more plain, but has a ton of detail. Uh, $49.95 for the set of these. If you buy them, just know we're going to paint them how we usually paint everything. Like it'll be kind of, you know, probably some dark wax, maybe some copper accents or gold country. accents. This one though is not level on the top. Yeah, not quite level on the top. I think it would still hold the candle just fine though. All right, $38.95 for this water pitcher. I you gonna do that? Okay. Okay. We're running out of space. All right, next up, $29.95 for this cute little pink set. It's got all the little plates, the fork, spoons, little mini set with a teapot, and then these little teacups that have, like, the butterfly and the flowers on them. And it's $29.95 with the whole little kit. Apparently, it was given to, to Ella Leela, but I don't think she used it because it's in pretty good condition. It's even got the original little, all the stuff. And it's $29.95. Okay. What you showing them, Zeb? Oh, I was up here because I was going to show them these before I knock them off. They keep pushing farther and farther, farther and farther forward. All right. Uh, cast iron um, stocking holders. We got some Christmas trees and a snowman with the wind blowing. These are $18.95 each. Oh, not, some of the stuff. Not sold as a set. They're hard to see because they're dark. There you go. There might be a few things. This hook rug was not active. Let me, oh. can you show a few more things? Because there were a few things I try. I was going to be good and get everything listed like super early in the week. And there were a few things. I was gone on a camp out. All right. Some people Last thought night. that this <laughs> might have been for like a uh, bathroom cleaning brush uh, for your toilet. It was $3. I would say it's probably more like a trash can, if anything. There it but is. it has this lid. So typically trash cans don't have lids, so you can just toss stuff in them. Sure, uh, the fleur-de-lis on the top. This is like a black. And then they almost it. like ground it down. It looks like almost like a brushed metal on the surface. Not going to paint it. Like it the way it is. It's going to be $28.95 on this one. And... I don't think it's a tra I don't think it's for the bathroom brush. I think it's just a canister. It's not for a bathroom. I don't think brush. it's a trash can either, although you could use it as such. <laughs> All right, keep showing because I gotta double check. What happened, Kaylin, is not your bad. Um, I started listing stuff early in the week and then oh yeah, there's the tote. All right, fun clock with drawers. Hold we on, can I finish what I was saying? I thought you were done. No. Okay. I was just gonna tell Kaylin before I forget. I listed stuff early in the week and then I had some stuff that came in that was from a picker. So it went active. So there were two drafted items under it. So it wasn't you, it was me. All right, there you go. Jamie's trying to get tricky. She's like, let's see how I can trick her this week. <laughs> I promise I wasn't. I was overzealous and early in the week I was gonna list everything and then I didn't. Brass hardware, brass pool. It. The only thing on this that's actually not good and probably the reason we're gonna repaint it and redo it is this is very pixelated in here where they decoupage that. We might do our own decoupage in there. I actually but... don't hate the decoupage. I don't like the crackle. That's like <laughs> 1980s crackle back when they used to use a crackle medium and they like didn't mix it up so it wasn't all crackled. Like mm -hmm. when I use a crackle medium, I'll like strategically 
<laughs> See, I'm glad I told Caitlin. She said, it's okay. I just thought I was going crazy. No, that was me. Um, it was a little weird, so I fixed it. Um, but I like, when I do crackle medium, I like to do like a few strategic areas because yeah. typically when you find an old piece that is crackled, it's not the whole thing. Let me show you the crackle. This so is we... the whole thing. So we'll paint it and some of the crackle will come through, but not quite as much. It's going to be $39.95 once we get done probably painting it juniper with some gold. It'll be amazing. Uh, maybe not. I think, you know what we haven't done? Hmm. We haven't done the new Pacific with gold. Oh yeah, that would definitely be gold. I mean, navy and gold, that's like yeah. match made in heaven. Okay, super excited to find this rug. Um, picked it up at the bins. It's basically new and it's a hook rug. See the back? And somebody handmade it. It's vintage for sure, but I don't think they ever used it. And it's $28.95. I was going to give it to Ellie if she hadn't decorated her bathroom yet. Ellie is Debbie from Debbie's Design Diaries niece. Um, but she's doing a jungle theme. So this is not going to go in her jungle theme, but it's so cute. The quilts, we did our best, but Zeb put those up and he was not feeling great today and he did not get them measured. So if they don't sell, we'll get them measured. We're going to hold we them knew, up so you can see If we knew them. what size they were, like if they were full or queen or whatever, we did put that in the listing. So this koala new has a little vest and he's from Australia. Maybe she, not, not hundred percent. Um, but this is like actual wool here on the ears. So I found this Zeb. See, this is so I do more listing than Zeb. And Zeb's like, I can't find this. So he just priced it. Luckily, I found some similar. Luckily, I looked up the koala because I found it for do you, like you want to take a guess? Oh, I already ruined it. Uh, it was $99 for this koala because it's wool. The only thing it was missing was it had like a scarf. Oh, a scarf. So this one doesn't have a scarf. It's $39.95 this koala and it is if you wash it you have to wash together. it on delicate and then you have to take lucky for us we have a dog pat like a dog grooming brush like a professional type one and i cleaned it all out and made sure it was no dog hair in it and i brushed out the ears because they were kind of matted and now the ears are all fluffy and the wool is nice and soft and it has like a zipper here but you can't see it when you fluff out the the fur 39.95 39.95 from I'm, the bins. The funniest thing is like, I literally had no idea that it was worth a ton of money. I'm like, that's super cute. I need to buy it. Then I take it home. We look it up and it's $100 online. The lamb is telling its secrets in its big ear. <laughs> the lamb is not like precious. Like not. It's like, hey, <laughs> the wool on your ears is actually from me. You got that from my friend. <laughs> the lamb is also from the bins, $14.95. Yeah. The lamb, not as precious as this koala. But still cute. Yeah, super cute. And the koala is not something you see that often. Um, Les says, this week is my 45th wedding anniversary. I don't know where to go. Happy wedding anniversary, Les. 45 years is a long time. Kai just bought the Waterford glass for her son. That's awesome. Nice. You are a good mama. All right, show. This is like the worst That's not job. priced, so. Oh, okay. I'll look this up. You show something Neither else. is this if you're feeling like looking something up. Okay. While she's looking up that, we've had this. This was in the garage clean out. It was just sitting in a bucket in there. I I can't remember where we got it. I feel like it was a shop donation. Either that or it was in the basement at the shop. I just hope that we didn't already have it listed, but I didn't find it. I don't think we did. Um, still has its lid. I don't think I don't think this has been replaced. Original handle here. Um, just aluminum, probably for water bathing or big pot. Either way, it's $29.95. Love that it still has its forged top handle here. Oh, I didn't even notice that a forged handle. And yeah. we do sell aluminum pots on a fairly regular basis. We actually just sold one last week and shipped it out. And it so. does have a lip for pouring here. And then it's got this little catch on the back so you can grab it and pour. Like, you know, they they used to make things with a little more care to detail. Uh, the Aussie Gypsy is watching from the Lamb Island in Queensland. It rolled past so fast. Australia. Oh, All fun. right, so... Do are those types of stuffed animals like popular in Australia where they make them out of wool? I'm just curious because like we our stuffed animals do not get made out of wool. No. All right, 18.95 for the world's ugliest pot that we're gonna paint. It's gonna be cool when we're done though. <laughs> Kira, how much is the oh Kira the koala is 39.95. It is Victor's mom. Oh. I just went camping with Kira's son. Victor's awesome. I love hanging out with Victor. <laughs> He's a lot of fun. All right, so uh, Pioneer Woman 
cookbook holder. I gotta look up that price. You you do that one. Okay, this one also you gotta look up. <laughs> we're we're to the middle section where we're like no, we didn't get a chance sold. to price it. Twenty four ninety five, and this one sold. <laughs> How much is aluminum pot? Uh, did that one not have a price on it either? It did. I said it, but I can't remember already. I think it's like thirty nine or twenty nine. I think it's twenty nine. Twenty nine ninety five. Twenty nine ninety five. Okay, I'm gonna rapid fire a couple things here real fast because we're not gonna get through it if we don't because we still have quilts and some books and some of this stuff back here. It's a whole situation. It already sold. This was $19.95 for this brass sconce. There were three of them, but someone had two in their cart. I asked her if she wanted this third one, and she's like, no, I only need two. So we didn't do any trading. All right, this is a silver server um, for your Pyrex. It's original Pyrex in here, vintage on that, and then comes comes with this serving stand so you can really up your game. Search your dominance at the dinner table. Oh my goodness. With the footed, with the footed uh, serving should tray. We give them, I know we're trying to go fast, but should we give them the backstory to a serving tray? $34.95. Someone was coming over. The house wasn't exactly how Jamie wanted it. And she's like, we got to get this house clean. I'm like, why? This person, like, they don't care. I just had to speak that language. And she, she, she spoke my language. And now I'm like, 100%, like, let's get the house clean. She's like, because this is how I assert my dominance, by having a clean house. That's why and I, I didn't even compute that, like, that's why my mom was probably doing it my whole she life. She probably didn't even know that was why. <laughs> because people are like, why are you cleaning up a company? It's how you assert your dominance. Like, your house is pulled together. You'll, you're pulled together. And now that I have told Zeb that, he's uh, like, I am all about that. I will always help you clean the house. We can assert She's like, can you mow the grass? I'm like, so you can assert your dominance? She's I mean, like, absolutely. Animals <laughs> in the wild do it. So now you got my... Uh, People call it hospitality. I just had to speak Zeb's language. Same, same. Uh, do you notice that you talk over each other? Oh, all the time. Uh-huh. Yeah. For 25 years. And sometimes I'll be over off camera and she'll be over here and we'll be talking and we won't even know. Product of Sweden. So we've got a Swedish tin. It's $16.95. This came from uh, the bins. So super cute. Good it's design. part of the show, really, the talking over. Caitlin is laughing so hard right now. You know what? Worth it if okay, if Caitlin's the only one laughing, it's totally worth it there. Like Jamie, Probably because she knows exactly who and what we're talking about. So that yeah. makes it even better. I mean, I just cleaned the pool yesterday, you know, again. <laughs> um, all right. This is like a little uh, stainless steel personal teapot uh, made in Japan. It was $1.50 at the thrift store, $11.95. I just like the shape of it. I thought it was cool. Whether you drink tea, whether you don't, might be cool to put some succulents or something in there growing or use it for tea. I mean, it's going to need a good scrub more than I am going to do for it. So just know that. <laughs> uh, Vicky says we're all over the map because Shannon Crystal is from Ireland. Oh, Australia, wow. Ireland. We probably have some stuff from we England had, we had, sure. We had that England salvage. Oh, right. Here, let's go to Italy. This is a... Uh, Bramo, Bramoli Rocco Italy pitcher. I tr Zeb likes to buy the juice pitchers, and I'm like, I we buy them. them a lot. But this one I bought, and I bought it because it was square. I just really liked it. And this is what I love about like glass made in Italy. It doesn't really matter because it's on the bottom, but they add the detail anyways. And there's like this really cool pattern. You probably can't see it. Let's see if you can. It's all along the bottom. And it's really cool. So this one is $22.95, and I think it was like. $2, if I remember correctly. All right, let's show this. And then I'm going to grab these because these were really popular. All right, small apothecary jar, Q-tips, cotton balls, various other things. Uh, $9.95 on this. It was $0.75 cents from the thrift store. This also was from the bins. It was pretty dented up and hammered from being at the bins. I've mostly got a lot of the creases and you did really good. That thing out of it. That not usable and it is. Um, it looked like someone had taken a hammer and beaten the bottom of it, but now it's 1995 and I love the star pattern on it. Where did you put that teapot? Somebody wants to know if it's usable, so I wanted to um, check. It is usable. It has like hard water stains inside okay. that are going to need soaked out if you want. It's like it's, someone's boiled a lot of things in it. You could just use lemon oil. Yeah. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> This, this I actually bought separately. So I paid $1.50 for these three and then $1.50 for the, just this one. So it was $3 total, but it's actually just a set of measuring, like measuring cups that kind of nest inside of each other. And they say like one and a half cups of gratitude, blessings, generosity, kindness. 
and they're $18.95 for the set. Hands down, this was, I'm actually would be surprised if this wasn't sold already because this was one of our most asked about items. People wanted the price ahead of time. So they're $18.95 and the item has sold. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Nesting measuring cups always do well. So this one's interesting. Some of this silver must have been donated all at once because it does have uh, Polari scratched in it, which I'm fine with that. That doesn't bother me at all. It's on the bottom. Um, this is also unique, though. It's English Silver Manufacturing Corp. Um, probably short for corporation. Made in the USA. <laughs> all right. This already sold. This was from the bins. And it probably just looks like a twall duffel bag. But the good thing about it is it's Disney. So you've got Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Daisy. It's just really cute. And I love things that are like Disney or whatever, but they're not overtly. Like it's kind of, it's almost like a Disney mystery. And it's in really good shape. It did have a stain inside, but I ran it through my washing machine. It's all clean. And it did. I just took out this little like plastic cardboard bottom. And then I washed it and it's all good to go. And it's did got you, like a little Did you show that Velcro. pink little tea set back there? Uh-huh. Okay. And this one already sold. All right. All right. Why don't you show them your bag that you got? Was this from the bins? This too? was from also from the bins. It's brand new. Um, it's called the Britra Britannia Insulated Wine and Cheese Tote. Um, I just listed it as a cheese and beverage tote. You can beverage anything you want, man. Um, but I think it is missing a couple of its components, but it might not be. It might have it all here. There's there's a little jar in here with a napkin. Um and it is insulated several places for you. So you can put like various beverages. I like the plaid that's inside of it. Yeah, plaid inside, brand new. Um, this is $17.95, I believe. I don't know where, oh, here it is. $17.95 on it. All right, so we have somebody here for the first time, Dixie Cook on Facebook. She says, so I'm new to this. So do I just go to your website? Yes. So Caitlin is dropping links, but you, you'd have to scroll back to get to the link for that teapot. So you can do that. And it all or goes live at the start. You could just go to jamierayvintage.com under the main menu. Everything is under thrift flips and thrift finds. Search new to old and everything will pop up. That's especially useful if you're looking for something that may have sold. Because typically if you don't change the way it's sorted, the sold stuff bumps to the bottom and people keep searching and searching and searching. So if you do new to old... It's like eight pages deep is this week's haul and it will be in there. Or you can just search like uh, ja Japanese. Did you call it Japanese or made in Japan? How what? did you label that little teapot? I just called it uh, individual teapot. Okay. Just look up individual teapot. I or didn't, I didn't specify that it was from Japan. If you can't find it, let us know and um, we'll try to get you the link. Okay. Um, Caitlin said the messenger bag has sold. All right. This okay, is I'm a, a, I'm a rapid living. fire. Country Living is who made that initially. Country Living. I bought it because I love the handles. It's like a ceiling tin, like pressed tin. Needs a new paint job, though. Not going to keep that paint job on there. $28.95 on this one. Um, we have more silver here. Oops. This was my favorite silver find of the week. Uh, this one is Carolina Rose. And it is going to be $38.95 on that but a lot of it does have like a slight little bend in the foot here down on the bottom of the pedestal i didn't try to pull that out because a lot of times with silver you'll crack it or crease it and we don't want that so i just left it priced accordingly um somebody wanted to know how you got the dents out of that that colander somebody had asked I oh i the pressed name. them out and then i took a little rubber mallet very softly because you don't want to hit that hard it's very thin and just kind of worked at it he until delicately it tapped it with his man muscles okay all right let Hold me on. just do this before oh, okay sorry because this one isn't priced you do you 28.95 it's ugly as is like it's just not great there's like a weird dry brush on here that's not good but painted this is going to be super cute i love press tin for that all right sorry international silver plate small little scallop plate probably for like relish tray something like that uh 22.95 on that one um this bowl here, this is oh Bristol Bristol silver plate by Pool P O O L E, and this is fourteen ninety five for this one. Then I have this one that is even smaller. This one, uh, Jimmy, where'd the price go on that? Is this the thirty eight ninety five one? No. Are you sure? No. Because this is the collectible one that's oh, the it? Paul Revere oh, yeah. look alike. I saw these selling online for 90 120 
Um, yeah, thirty eight ninety five. It's not very big, but it's like a replica by Oneida Silversmith. Sons of Liberty. Yeah, and it's it's we're, we've got it. I you said thirty eight ninety five. Yeah, thirty eight ninety five is what we have it at. Um, so you got to watch for that. Sometimes we might have just been like, "Whoop, this is small," and price it. Looked it up. We're still selling it uh, under half of what everyone else is selling it for, and it's like way more than I would have normally charged for it. We haven't picked these up for a while, but um, these are just like replica ceiling tins. They were $2 each. We're going to paint them and do probably do like a fun dry brush, and then they'll be $19.95 each. And if we're, Caitlin may not get all the links, so if there's anything you can't find, let us know because we're rapid firing, and it is like a lot of stuff all over the place, so. We're doing our best. All right. This is a WM Rogers, just a serving spoon, um, silver plate on that, fourteen ninety five, And then this is like a little relish dish, silver plate as well. This is $9.95. Oh, I'm not even holding them all the way out here so you can see. $9.95. Then I have three various plates. When you're looking at them, they've got different kinds of tarnish in the picture. They are listed differently. Two plates are the same, but the tarnish is much different. Um, they're all $16.95. This one has like a little floral band around it. This is more of like a braided rope band. And why is that camera color so funky? Maybe the silver's throwing it off. All yeah, right. I anyway, think so, the silver's you shiny. can see in the picture, it's got this big tarnish there. $16.95 on that. And then this one. Also $16.95, same as the last one there, matching pair, but I listed them differently because um, you can get that tarnish out. So this is Todd's clipboard. It says so on the back. <laughs> I left it on there because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's giant. And Zeb printed out with our big Mama Jamma printer a canvas. This is um, an old 1800s map. And at $69.95, you get Todd's clipboard and the canvas. I think this would be great for like um, a den. I really think this is very like mantique. So I, I love the clipboard, but I thought it was a great way to display the art. So that is on a canvas if you want to put that in a really awesome frame. Okay. So this is actually two different depictions of Rome. The original one on the top is from, I think, the 1700s. And then the bottom one, I don't remember exactly when that was from. That one's actually cropped in half to fit on the sheet, but I did two different artists on there. Both right. of Rome. Zeb, can you fix it? It's like dark. Is yeah, way to I don't know. It? I was trying to mess with it. I, I'm worried if I touch it, it's going to it's gonna do weird things. Hold, hold, please. Okay, we're going to... It's been like that for a while. I'm going to look up the price on these two things because... Oh, this one we got. So this one is going to get the clips taken off of it and then a new probably paint job because some of the paint's coming off. And it'll be $39.95. And it's got these cool S hooks on the bottom. This is actually great for a bathroom, which is pro or not bathroom, laundry room. That's probably why they were clips because somebody would put like mix match socks. All right. Can you guys, that probably put bars but on the side. I love S hooks because I like to hang like unmentionables, bras, whatever that you don't want to put in the dryer. We have hooks in our, in our uh, laundry room and we use them too. Yeah. That's going to get painted. Those are going to get sanded. Okay. This is going in my, I'm hopefully not that there, fixed, keep them separate. hopefully that fixed the lighting a little bit. It okay, looks, I'm gonna look it up looks bright and blue now, but I don't know. There. I don't know what's going on. All right. Wooden servers or spatulas, utensils, um, $9.95 for the set. And then little brass hook with a wood backer. This looks like oak on the back, $9.95. Okay. This that. is going to get painted and it will be $48.95. I really like the shape on it. It is resin, but we we like to paint these a lot. And they go from looking plastically plasticky to more high end when you paint them because it's like a custom look. And it's a and hard the shape to get. Different. Yeah, you, it's hard to get this shape with like metal or anything. A lot of times they'll do it with plaster, but a plaster clock like this probably gonna cost you like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Vicky says she has the shelf with hooks and she uses the rings to hang her her stencils in her booth, and then she oh, puts nice. brushes in the top. That is smart. Okay, we're gonna do some books while we're out of here. We've got the Farm Journal Freezing and Canning. Um, I bought it because I thought that the actual book itself was beautiful. The information in it is great too, especially if you wanna know about canning. And it's $24.95. But if I was gonna display this, I would take off the dust cover because the dust cover is not that pretty. So Freezing and Canning Cookbook. 
This, we put that it was PG-13 because <laughs> it has some kitschy, uh, is it crochet? I think it's crochet stuff. And some of the things they were wearing are a little risque. So I'm just going to say. Let's just say I was flipping through it because I was having a fun time, like reading all the little captions. And I had to flip through real through real fast all well, of a Well, this one's called a wedgie and she's riding a bike. I mean, so I put in the listing was PG-13. So nobody was surprised. It already sold for $14.95. Mostly it's just funny. Yeah, it's But hilarious. not everybody has the same sense of humor we do, so. Take it or leave you it. You already did this one? Yep. Sunset Annual Cookbook, 1989. Really good year. 1995. These sell all kinds of cookbooks sell well for us. This one, it almost has like the spine. I don't know if it might pick that up cracking. Somebody did not cook with this. So it's new old stock. Curious George Flies a Kite, 1595. This is an older book. 1958. 1958. They've done a little bit of uh, book taping inside their little librarian tape. Um, then next up we have, this is a book in a box. So it comes with the book and the box. And it's Silas Marner, The Weaver of Ravlo, George Eliot. And it's 1995. I just thought that the book itself was amazing. This like, one we weren't selling. Look at that. And you, I know people think we buy a ton of books, but we actually sell 15, 15 to 20 books every week. So we're starting to catch up on when we were buying a ton of them. Now we're kind of buying less to kind of, manage the hoard and being super picky but once we sell through those then we'll buy you're doing more. real good i'm going to bring you more books okay the this book one of the i'm horse, sad this one i found mold in it so we did not list this one the book of the horse is 15.95 a perfect coffee table book it's got great pictures in it so when we are buying books we're thinking what are people interested in same thing railroad book people love all things railroad this one's 22.95 it does have a plastic cover but it's got great images inside of it so it could be a coffee table book or you could don't cover your ears if you don't like this cut it apart and frame all of them they're really cool we picked up some more reader's digest books we're starting to get really picky unless we love the outside we're not buying them they're 9.95 each for obvious reasons we picked up these books this one actually is my favorite that one's older check out the backing on that yeah that what's the does it say in here i don't know they usually do i don't know I was, it's really pretty. And then we've got this like periwinkle. Next up, we have Around the World the, with Captain Parker. It's $24.95. So I picked this up because it's an older book. The age on these pages is just amazing. Again, these would be, this is a great book, but this would also be great ephemera if you're a paper crafter. Lots of images in here. So that one is good. And then Jacques Pepin celebrates. This one is $34.95. Again, it has a dust cover, but the book beneath the dust cover is beautiful. So if I was displaying this in my kitchen, the dust cover would be removed so you could see the beautiful book below. Um, next up, I know this one has sold. This is a red French butter dish. It says butter in English and French. Did you you put the butter in here and then you put water and you put this in here. Keeps your butter soft and it's $14.95. We sell these in the shop for quite a bit more, but whenever I can find them secondhand, they always sell super fast. Um, did you show this one? Nope, not that one. Oh, so I this one it. is really fun. Um, Ogden Nash, Good Intentions. These are poems. Again, this is one of those ones where like it looks cool on a shelf, but look how good the shading is around almost every page. That's some good like, it's It's waiting for ephemera for you to frame it, do, do something fun with it, paper crafting. It is $28.95. That's actually on the low end just for the book. But I think if we were to sell individual sheets, I'd probably sell them for $4 each. <laughs> and sorry, I just yawned, guys. I tried to hold that in, but I couldn't. Somebody asked how baseball is going with Jack. Oh, um, man. Oh. Seven Jack are having a fabulous time. We had time. a heartbreaker first game. Lost, lost by one. Lost uh, seven, eight to seven is, was the final score. And we were oh. ahead seven to three in the last inning. Thanks, Jane, for the reminder. Um, we already have the share winners picked. Caitlin will drop the information in uh, the comments if you're watching on Facebook. And I will also just read the names. Jen Jenny Lee, J-E-N-N-I-L-E-E, -E -E, Harward Coles, and Amy Roundtree. Thank you for sharing. Email info at jamierayvintage.com with your address, and we will send you happy mail. And if you still haven't won yet, just keep on sharing. We pick two new people every week from Facebook from sharing. 
and we send them happy mail. So thanks for helping us get the news out. It's the best form of advertising. We're almost to quilts. If you've been hanging in there and waiting, we have like eight more things over here. Then I'm going to run over there and do quilts real quick. All right, just make sure there aren't any. Okay, good. $44.95 for this chippy tray. We're going to repaint it. Again, this is a Hobby Lobby special, so the distressing is okay, but could be better. They do a good job building um, trays, but... Yeah, this one's chippy. So We actually, like our we, finish work better. If we lightly... Dist we'll have to lightly sand this, repaint it, but this is a lot of flat surface area, so we can do a stencil, a transfer, stamps. Like I love things like this because there's a lot of creativity that can happen. So once it's repainted, it'll be $44.95. And I, this came from the bins, which is actually yeah. surprising. Usually I don't find good decor there. I think this was a dollar from DI. We pulled the tag off so we could take a good picture of it. And then um, it never returned. Fourteen ninety five. Well, sometimes you destroy it pulling them off. This is just like a divided uh, relish or a candy tray. All right. So these I'm selling individually. Um, they were a dollar for both, which is a phenomenal deal. I actually saw these for quite a bit more online. But I got a good deal, so I'm selling for less. These are glass, European-style ornaments. So here's the church. We've got Santa and his bag. They're big ornaments, They're very too. thin and light. Like, they're very delicate. Yeah, they're big, though. And then we've got an angel and um, Mary and the mom. So they're sold individually for $12.95 each. And I know that it's not Christmas, but... That's the mother Mary and Jesus. What did I say? Mary and the mom. Mary and the baby. Mary is the mom. Jesus. Sorry, I told you I was, I was tired when I started tonight. I'm trying to hold, hold it in. All right, so this sold for $28.95. I don't know that he put will be painted on it. I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to hammer that back out. And you're going to clean it? Yes. Seb is going to clean it and hammer this perfect. So it I don't, already sold. I feel like this is a replica, but I looked online. That bottom shape, you fill it with coal and you cook with it. Oh, yeah. I don't like think you should make a little dome of coal this. and cook with it, but I'm not. I think this is painted. So don't, don't do that. Yeah. But this one already sold. Okay, next up, there's a whole pile of pots here. I don't think we got I'm going to wait until Caitlin drops a link for these pots because I don't have the price tag handy. That one is. This one is $29.95 for just this tall candlestick. Um, it was $4 at thrift store. And then we've got a boppy, boopy um, candlestick. It's $6.95. Just put a taper in here. And these are always, like, really popular um, these I bought because strawberries are super trending right now, like strawberry decor, strawberry rings, strawberry nails. And I paid $2, I think, each for the plates. Growing I'm strawberries. I'm selling for $5.95 each. Jack is growing a lot of strawberries. Yeah. The strawberries but here and at the shop are Jack's. He claims all strawberries. Next up, we've got this kind of French provincial looking vintage lamp. It's porcelain. Usually when I find these, a piece is broken. This is in really good condition. Um, it is an old vintage lamp, so I do suggest rewiring it. Not just this one, but anytime you buy an old vintage lamp, rewiring it is always a good idea. $49.95 for this. So when you see these kinds of plugs, get yourself an electrician or a family member that is a good electrician. And so for right rewired. now, we're selling you a vintage statue. Yeah, and you can rewire it. <laughs> you just pull this through and yeah. Use, right. use it as a taper candlestick. Or holder. don't turn it on. <laughs> But I always like to disclaimer that with... Did you show this tray? Yeah. Okay, the terracotta pots. You get this entire set for $19.95. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One does have a chip on it. So it's like $1.95 each for these terracotta pots. In our pots. world, that adds to value. That adds to value. A BLB says, I like the strawberries. Hey, Leslie. All right, next up, we've got two um, glitter tree toppers. This one's the five point. This is the multi point. I believe I marked these at eighteen ninety five. I'll wait and like double check, but I'm like ninety nine percent positive that's what I put these at. And then this already sold. This is a two quart canning jar. We paid two dollars and we sold it for eight ninety five. It's got kind of a green tint and ribs on it. It's got like cool ribs. Yep, eighteen ninety five. Yes, I remembered. Okay, this is going to be twenty eight ninety five, and it's just like a old looking wood tray with the beaded edge. Yeah, they called it some some were called like hobnail ring around there. Mm -hmm. I didn't really go for that. That doesn't look like hobnail. It looks like beads to me. The original maker was Creative Co-op and they're actually kind of spendy. I usually yeah. only get their stuff when I, I find it secondhand. Okay, do we want to go over and yes, show that? Yes, let's go over and show. Let's, did we get everything? 
I believe so. If not, we're real, real close. We, you know, we do have, we have glitter all over the floor. I'll yeah. stay here just to make sure that the oh, camera my, doesn't disconnect. The camera you're... is doing something funky. Hold on. So we have quilts, afghans, sheets, and I have like a little kimono that we're going to show you next, but we like to do it in the living room. Okay. I think you can see us good there. It's only 9.31, so I actually think we're doing... Yeah, we're doing okay. Fantastic here. I think we're good on the... All right, we don't have comments right now, though, oh, so... Julia, would you mind going over there and reading comments for me? You don't have to read them unless they're, like, urgent. She was chilling on the couch. Sorry. All right. One of my most exciting things... They probably saw you button up a bit. <laughs> the camera's facing this way. <laughs> it's that time of night. It's, it's late. You're probably not the only one here with their pants on button. I mean, I don't have my number. <laughs> I don't even have a button. All right, let me show them this kimono. This is actually handmade. It's Singing Slowly is the brand. It's from Etsy. And her stuff actually sells for quite a bit. I looked it up. And the only thing it's missing is like the belt, but it has the ties. So you can like tie the inside here. So I don't know if you would just wear it open, which is what I would do, or you could just take like some ribbon or something and tie it through here. It's like a, a robe, but I actually think it's just super cute like this. And it's handmade, it's from a Etsy seller. I don't know, I don't think I put the price on this one. I think it was like $14.95, but I was charging for it. Caitlin will drop the link, she'll know for sure. All right. Um, yeah, Singing Slowly, that's the name of the Etsy brand that made this. So this is Queen. I know the camera's kind of bright right now. I had to do some on-the-fly adjusting. I don't know what happened to it. Um, this is uh, Eddie Bauer Home is what it's called. Wait a second. We have the queen size quilt. We got the shams from the bins. So I found that quilt. Super. <laughs> That's funny. Odelia uh, went and looked back and she's like, oh, so no. The I found the quilt, was super excited about that. Then later I found one in the bin, one on the floor, and I have the entire set. Like that was some major treasure work. It's $99.95 for the set. And I love the shams. I also love that they tie in the back. And there is hand quilting. Even though it's mass produced, there is hand quilting on it. All right, $22.95. We're going to do a run of afghans that are that price. All the afghans. These ones, today. this is a black, red, and white chevron. It's very long. If your school colors are this, there you go. Those are my high school colors. Go Bradshaw Bears. <laughs> okay, we've got this one is multicolored stripes. We're, we're being a little bit more particular about the afghans that we're getting, just making sure we're getting like. Well, all we the were, best. it was kind of like the books. We were buying like a lot, 10 to 15 a week, and we were selling. 10. <laughs> All right. Now that we've showed a few Afghans, I'm going to show you the pillowcases. These have actually been selling really well for us. So if you're a reseller, take note. We're selling for $6.95 each. We pick them up at the bins. Vintage kind of 80s, 90s floral selling very well for us. They are $6.95 each. My favorite is actually probably this pink one with this really delicate rose print. Let's see if we can get that on there. Because we, I had this pattern in quite a few of my dolls' dresses. Growing up, I'll try to get as close as possible because it is so bright. And then this one is like a lilac and rose print. But the floral pillowcases are doing well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep buying them if people keep buying them. I believe this is queen size. This is like a white it's cream queen. color. And you have the, um, not, not the right side out. So it's velvet. Oh, yeah. They so won't we, be able to tell either okay. way. It's, it's velvet, I promise. It's $39.95. We had one that was like a mustardy gold color that sold, and it was king size a few weeks ago. The Jimmy same also brand. has a purple one that she kept for Yeah, herself. I'm obsessed with velvet quilts, so I will keep buying them because if nobody buys them in my shop, I can bring them home. That's pretty close representation that I'm seeing on screen as far as the color goes. It might be a little bit lighter than that, but it's kind of like a creamy white. We have two homemade quilts. This one is a little interesting. It has like this weird edge and it's not in perfect It's like they ran out of fabric and they just are like, yeah, show, we'll, we'll put this edge. in there. I don't know where the... Okay, Adelia, so here's... Can you see the colors okay Here's on the that? edge. It does have some rips, some tears, but it's we not like that. so torn that you couldn't just put a couple stitches in there and sew it back together. Same with the middle here. I think I pictured these fairly close so you could see it um, on camera, but it's all pieced. It's $59.95. I'm obsessed with pieced tattered quilts. Like they even like sewed some ribbon on the back. They got real creative. They 
they took and they put a hem down the back and like, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking, but it looks cute. I, I feel like, like they were they were running out of fabric and they were making it work. <laughs> so this one is $68.95. This is the heart shape one. This one has hearts and paisley and it's hand quilted and homemade as far as I can tell because it's even like the edge is hand quilted. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I didn't see a tag and it totally looked homemade to me. And everything, like, the, I don't know if there's any machines because even on the edge, it's hand done. So, so if this afghan wasn't a little bally and had a couple little stretch marks in the middle, we would have probably been thirty-eight ninety-five on this because of the detail on there. But because of its condition, which could probably you could probably take some time and probably take about a half hour with a sweater shaper. We did not do that, so it's only twenty two ninety five. Okay, we've got two more. It is more. larger. I'm going to hand them to you. Okay. And then we've got a couple of really cool sheets. This one's just fun. Um, this this falls under the lap afghan. It's a really tight knit. Uh, $22.95 on this one as well. It's got the yellow border all around. The yellow is really pretty for spring and summer. This is a big one for $22.95. Um, and it's got the kind of the chevron pattern in it. And it's got like a, I would call this a neon peach. It's yeah. pretty bright with the butter yellow, and then it's kind of like a mixed there. This one's really pretty too. So we didn't have a lot of yellow and peach, so we kind of focused on that. So we have a variety. I priced this run to move, just so you know. This is okay. not always going to be these sweet, sweet deals, but we got a sale, so I was in the spirit. Flat sheet here, $14.95. I think the size is in the listing, and I love the stripes and the country floral. And then if this is a 1980s floral, I don't know what is. <laughs> so cute, $14.95. This is a fitted sheet, so it's got the elastic around the edge. And it's a, I believe this one is a full size. We put it in the listing. All right, guys. That's everything. We made it. It's 9.38, so we're only eight minutes late. Only eight minutes. If you like this video, please hit that share button. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more. DIY. And thrifting. We'll see you on the next episode. Did you Bye, actually? Guys. Did you actually say the share winners? Or yeah, did I already just, did. Like fifteen minutes ago. I missed it. I know you were talking about it, but I don't actually remember hearing the names. <laughs> Bye, I'm gonna guys. go to bed. <laughs> see you later.